Join me as I dive into the wild world of Ghanaian politics to figure out if Nana Asari Bedayako can really take the crown in the 2026 presidential election. Nana Asari Bedayako, a name that's become synonymous with Ghanaian politics, is gearing up to take on the 2026 presidential election. As we approach this significant event, it's essential to examine his chances of winning, the challenges he faces, and what this could mean for Ghana's future. Nana Asari Bedayako faces an uphill battle in the election, with several established political rivals vying for the top spot. His opponents are well-funded, well-connected, and have a strong political machinery. Furthermore, Bedayako's public perception is still a subject of debate, with some viewing him as a breath of fresh air and others seeing him as an inexperienced newcomer. One of the key issues at stake in this election is the economy, which has been sluggish in recent years. Ghanaians are looking for a leader who can stimulate growth, create jobs, and improve living standards. Another significant challenge Bedayako faces is the perceived lack of grassroots support. While he has a strong social media presence, his team still needs to build a robust network of supporters across the country. This could be a major hurdle, especially in rural areas where traditional politics still hold sway. Additionally, Bedayako's campaign will need to be strategic in its messaging, as any misstep could be seized upon by his opponents. Bedayako's policy on education is another area of contention. While he has promised to revamp the sector and make it more accessible to all, some critics argue that his plans are too ambitious and lack a clear roadmap for implementation. As the campaign heats up, Bedayako will need to be prepared to defend his policies and convince voters that he has the vision and leadership skills to take Ghana forward. In terms of public perception, Bedayako's team will need to work hard to change the narrative around his candidacy. He's often portrayed as an outsider, someone who's not part of the traditional political establishment. While this could be an advantage in some quarters, it's also a liability, as some voters may view him as inexperienced or naive. Bedayako will need to demonstrate that he has the gravitas and statesmanship to lead Ghana. Nana Asari Bedayako's background is a fascinating one, a true rags-to-riches story. From humble beginnings, he rose to prominence through his business acumen and philanthropic work. His entry into politics was seen as a breath of fresh air, and many were drawn to his charisma and vision. Over the years, he has built a reputation as a champion of social justice, advocating for policies that benefit the marginalized and vulnerable. Bedayako's political journey has not been without controversy, however. He's faced criticism for his perceived close ties to certain business interests, which some argue could compromise his ability to govern impartially. His team will need to effectively address these concerns and reassure voters that Bedayako is committed to clean governance. One area where Bedayako has shown significant leadership is in his advocacy for sustainable development. He has been vocal about the need for Ghana to adopt green technologies, reduce its carbon footprint, and promote eco-friendly practices. This could be a major differentiator for him in the election, especially among younger voters who are increasingly environmentally conscious. Bedayako's policy on healthcare is another area where he has shown leadership. He has promised to revamp the sector, increase access to quality healthcare, and improve health outcomes. This could be a major selling point for him, especially among voters who have been disillusioned with the current state of the healthcare system. Recent polls have shown that the election is still wide open, with no clear frontrunner. However, some pundits argue that Bedayako's popularity is on the rise, especially among urban voters. Endorsements from influential figures could also play a significant role in tilting the scales in his favor. Major events leading up to the election could also impact the outcome. For instance, any significant economic shock or major scandal could sway voters one way or the other. Bedayako's team will need to be agile and responsive to changing circumstances, adjusting their strategy as needed. As we approach the 2026 presidential election, it's clear that Nana Asari Bedayako faces significant challenges. However, he also has a unique opportunity to reshape the political landscape and offer Ghanaians a new vision for the future. Thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on Nana Asari Bedayako's chances in the election. Do you think he is what it takes to win? Share your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to check out my other videos for more political updates.